One of the most beautiful things that Jesus has ever said was when he was on the cross and he said, Father, please forgive them for they know not what they are doing. There's actually a lot of people who have never heard the true gospel of Jesus Christ. That the gift of salvation that he gives us cannot be earned. His blood shed on the cross dying for us is what seals our salvation. And what follows is good works and a transformed life when we receive that free gift and we are filled with his Holy Spirit. We start to go out and make disciples and go out into the world and talk about Jesus. That is the Great Commission. That is all of our callings if we are following God. But let me share some of my experience with you before Jesus saved me and I received that free gift of salvation. I had no idea what was going on in the world, even my own personal world. All I could see was everything else around me that didn't seem to feel right or be right. But I was always seeking something outside of myself, always looking for something greater to latch onto, and it was always the wrong things. And look at Jesus' heart as he's suffering one of the most cruel deaths a person can suffer he is thinking about other people and saying god please forgive them they don't even know what they're doing to me on the cross listen we all put jesus on the cross because of our sinful ways he took our shame satan is the one who tries to shame people and make them feel bad jesus is the one who says even though you've done bad to me i still love you and that is what transforms our lives, our heart, and our spirit. This is what changes our trajectory here on earth. We are now going to heaven. We are not going to hell. And now we are tasked in figuring out our own salvation with fear and trembling. But that doesn't mean that we go around trying to bully other people into believing like us or picking out other people's faults. We're going to have our hands full trying to figure out our own wrongs and how we can make them right through God's Holy Spirit and His direction. As we take care of taking the plank out of our own eye, we then can go help our brothers and sisters get the plank out of their eye. It is pointless to go around pointing out all the planks in everybody else's life because we all have issues. But let this be a reminder to the people that you love in your life who don't know the Lord yet. The more we try to pick on their faults, the more that we try to push scripture at them, the more that they're gonna push us away. People will see the true gospel in our lives, the way that we walk, the way that we are. They will see the light of Christ on us. And this is a long process, so don't get down when you see people that you love seemingly not accepting the gospel when you try to talk to them. Because in their own time, God is going to reach them if you just stay consistently praying for them and being there for them. Let's try to remember what it was like before we were saved, before we knew Christ and we knew the truth. We made a ton of mistakes and we just didn't have the knowledge to make the right choices and decisions. Following Jesus is not about being right about everything and having it all figured out. God is mysterious in a lot of ways and we are just not going to know everything. But our goal is to know Christ and Him crucified. Look, knowing Jesus' transformational power can actually increase our faith because we see him working in us. So if we see him working in us, that is physical proof that we know he can do it in somebody else's life too. When we actually have others' best interests at heart, they will understand and know that. If we are trying to push our own agenda or trying to force them to believe something, then they're going to push back on that because people know when someone is being authentic and when they are putting up a front. So I'm suggesting that we read our Bible, that we work on our relationship with Jesus, that we work on our emotional, spiritual health. I'm suggesting that Jesus can bring them salvation and we don't have to have all the answers. We just need to be there for them. We just need to stand in the gap in prayer and just be that vessel that God has created us to be. And when we are focusing on these things, God has more free reign to go out there because we aren't forcing our will in the way of what he's trying to do. He can just do it right when he wants to do it. God does not interrupt our free will because he loves us, but he still has a plan for all of us and we're all gonna get there. But sometimes that's why we face difficulties is because we are trying to do something that God wants to do. And he will let us take it to the end 
of ourselves and then he will move, but he is going to move regardless. So let this be an encouragement to you. God is capable and he will forever be capable in his heart towards people who don't believe in him is God, please forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. So let's remember that. Let's keep that in our prayers and in our heart, the way that God feels about the unbelieving world. And let's go out and make disciples. Let's go be a difference, starting with ourselves and in our family and in our communities, and then on into the world. Remember, Jesus loves you. He is here for you forever. And you are gonna be okay. Keep on praying, keep on standing in the gap. God is gonna move in Jesus' mighty name. So stay blessed and stay encouraged, and I'll see you in the next video.